What does an angry pepper do, Corbin? What? Gets jalapeno face. <laughs> Juice. Welcome back to our stupid directs of Corbin. Right. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Thanks for watching. Follow us on the account. Click the like button. Today we have a video. This is from a channel called Nimar Belai. And if that's mispronounced, my apologies. It's why do Indians drink so much chai? That's a good question. My yeah. wife drinks it twice a day, minimum. Twice a day. I make her that's chai. probably much less than she drank it in India. Yeah, but it's different, though, because when you get it, as you know, from a, a chai stall, you're getting it in, the, in a little cup. And so I make her about twice that. Every, it's one of my favorite things to do is to make her chai in the morning. And then uh, afternoon, she's always in mid-afternoon, she's always wanting another cup of chai. Um, but Or cha, as it's lovingly referred to in Bengal. My thought is blame the British. That's my thought, too. My suspicion is their tea time became India's tea time. Yep. Here we go. India, land of culture, a land of 1.8 billion people, or a land of 1.8 billion... Chai drink. <laughs> <laughs> is it drugs? <laughs> nice joke. This is something far more dangerous, far more potent, and far more... Addictive. Delicious. Oh, yes. Look at this man who hasn't gotten sleep yet. He's become so dependent, so attached, that he will remain in that same place until the moment that he gets his first hit. My day can't start the third hit, Keta. Minimum three times. What is this wonder run? How did it ever come to us? How did it grip an entire nation that the words of everybody's mouth at 4 p.m. in the evening are without a doubt always? Jada, <laughs> Toti. That's funny. Like the intro. Good animation. Einstein and Hitler bopping together. It's no secret that we Indians really love tea. I mean, we even named one of our most famous monuments after tea. There are more tea <laughs> stalls per unit area than unit areas. Every time a new street is built, a new tea store is already there. It's like when you buy a new Android phone and MX Takataka is already pre-installed on it. You didn't ask for it, but it's there. <laughs> Samsung, connecting people. Do what you say. <laughs> I'm loving this. In fact, scientists at Israel have actually said that the real reason that India has not yet gone to the moon is because there's no gravity, so you can't do the water. <laughs> That's funny. Sure, you don't have gravity or panda. And sometimes people ask the stupid question. So, are you like a tea person or a coffee person? <laughs> and that is stupid because once you date someone, you drink coffee because where do you go? You go to a coffee shop. But once you break up, you are at a tea stall drinking tea and crying to your homies. <laughs> Sigma. <laughs> And even though it's a British thing, we made it our own, like cricket. First we added milk, then we added masala, then we made it karak, even though it's liquid, because fuck physics. Fuck principles of fluid mechanics. Let's see what my crying there. Can you how this beverage found its way into our masala infested stomachs? It's a story involving the Chinese Empire, the East India Company, and a shrewd botanist who invert who in that in that in and Inadvertently became a secret agent. Can I just say became Tom Cruise? Is that okay? Ooh, don't do that. <laughs> this party started. Hey, I like get, it. Get it. Party. I did. We are not making any of this up. India has the largest tea drinking population in the world. Not a shock. <laughs> the second largest tea grower in the world. Second only to China. But you know, it's. Guys, clearly that's a joke. Nimba does not endorse defaming a country, especially sovereign. <laughs> <laughs> there are really interesting patterns about tea drinkers, which was found by the Tea Board of India, which I assume looks like this. No, not this. No, no, not this. No, not, no, none of these. Hey, there's so many of these. Anyway, we are going to present this in the format of quick facts. What happened? Too quick for you? I'll ask this in surprise <laughs> test, so be careful. You see, the story of how we got to the stage in advanced tea consumption is a story that begins, like most stories with us, with the British. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> 
Tea was being grown in China. In England, it was this very exclusive, high-class commodity. They got addicted. Nice. Really addicted. Tea was considered Euphoria. so precious that in 1662, when King Charles II married the Portuguese princess Catherine of Braganza, this person, it's, it's accurate, guys. Her dowry consisted of a chest of tea and the island <laughs> of Bombay for an annual lease of 10 pounds, equivalent then to the cost of one pound of tea in England. Let me put that in perspective for you. The city of Mumbai, where I can't afford a one BHK for myself, was considered equal to this. <laughs> the fuck? Can you imagine if this went down in India today on the news channel? <laughs> under the belt, but okay. Well, we can't help you learn to make tea, but we can help you learn engineering with the best uh, world-class curriculum developed by industry experts. Oh. And it's very practical. <laughs> we have project-based learning for students, bridging the gap between academia and... Nice industry. integration, so I like you it. You can apply whatever you're learning in the real world. Isn't that insane? And you're really tempting me. We have PG courses across engineering domains like mechanical, ECE, triple E, ETC. Wait, ETC is a new course? No. Ah, okay. Also, we have courses on emergent technologies like electric vehicles, data science, and autonomous vehicles. Wow. And at this point, you're probably thinking, hey man, if I have all these skills but I don't have a job, then what's the point, huh? No, I was still thinking about you dissing my tea making. That's exactly why placements are handled by our customer success team. Over 2,000 plus job opportunities in 300 plus recruiting companies, including Hyundai, Capgemini, and HCL. That's actually pretty cool. I know, and you should check out our website. Use the link in the description so that you can get a 15% off on all the courses and a free career counseling session. Oh. Now I'm gonna let you go back to your video. Oh, oh shit, okay, sorry. By the 18th century, there was a war between the English and the Dutch, and England's resources were really getting depleted. So the English were unable to afford the silver that they were trading with China to get the tea. And apart from that, China was uninterested in anything that Britain was offering. I think we should just be friends. <laughs> she rejected me, Dad. <laughs> Tutti. <laughs> <laughs> Until they discovered something that China did want. Drugs. <laughs> I'm serious. Britain started growing opium in India and smuggled it to China in return for tea. For tea. <laughs> History buffs, but China literally had a war and an opioid epidemic because of this. And who sold them the opium? <laughs> the British literally grew drugs in our backyard because they wanted some chai time. <laughs> <laughs> Not gonna lie though, worth it. Hey, uh, guys, he's clearly joking again. That's the, the better call, song background. The backyards of India. Hey, Macha, can I use your backyard for a while? Why would I let you do that? That's all, huh? How long we've been friends? This is how you treat me? Okay, okay. Okay, okay, fine. I mean, okay, I mean, you could... Also, you only work on it now, like slaves, please. But you need it, why would I work on it? Macha, it's your backyard, so you only have to work on it now. Silly fellow. What? Why did I work on it? Hey, Charaman, work on it. You don't need to know what that is. All you need to know is the East India Company lost its trade monopoly with China, so they stopped. That means they weren't the only ones exclusively trading and their trade relations basically failed. And to deal with this, the Tea Committee was established. Yes, another government institution for tea. Was established a year later to extract tea seeds, techniques and resources from the Chinese. The mission though was not quite successful. Basically, this is an example in British desperation. They will do anything for tea at this point. Invade continents, grow drugs, all for... Chai time! <laughs> <laughs> As you know, the famous quote, fortune favors white people. <laughs> At the end, the British got their way. How they did it is actually the story of Doom. <laughs> In 1843, Robert Fortune, a Scottish horticulturalist, yes, that is also a profession that you can pursue after BTEC. He went on, as we call it, solo trip to China to study its tea plantations. Three years later, he returned and consecutively published a book on the same. And we have a manuscript of it in our office. Let me show it to you. Oh, yeah. Oh, 
ठीक हूँ सर नाउ टू गेट अ जॉब विद ईस्ट इंडिया कंपनी इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट व्हाई डू यू थिंक दैट यू आर द परफेक्ट मैन फॉर दिस जॉब एंड माय सेल्फ स्किल्ड इन ऑल दिस रॉबरी थिवरी सिंस चाइल्डहुड आई वाज वन केडी फेलो सर सर प्लीज प्लीज टेक दिस प्लीज टेक दिस वाइट दे एक्चुअली हायर्ड हिम ऑन द स्पॉट गेव द अमेज्ड मैन 500 पाउंड्स पर एनम ही वाज सेट टू परफॉर्म द ग्रेट ब्रिटिश टी हाइस्ट तिरुपति No, but actually, he shaved his head in order to blend in with the other Chinese monks. Am I fitting in? <laughs> and after an exhausting three-month expedition, Rob returned to Shanghai from the estates, and he wrote to his employers, informing them of the following: "Macha, I got the greens." Okay, okay, okay. That may be a little harder. The actual message reads as: "I have much pleasure in informing you," he wrote, "that I have procured a large supply of seeds and young plants, which I trust will get safely to India." And with all the stolen tea, they came back and started planting it in India. And over the years, Indian tea quickly topped the market in Britain as the best because, well, sir, you're joking. <laughs> so much because it was on their home turf. They started dissing Chinese tea and saying things like, "My tea has a light chi. Your tea is on a chi." Stupid. <laughs> But the truth is not far from fiction. Just look at this advertisement that they published. Indian teas are purer. Indian teas are more aromatic. Indian teas are stronger. Indian teas are cheaper. Indian teas are more wholesome and are better in every respect than Chinese teas. Subtle. <laughs> they're talking like they got out of a toxic relationship with China and got into a healthier one with India, while forgetting that they were the toxic ones all along. <laughs> so this actually answers how it became popular in India, and the answer lies in in Chai Chai. Ah, England. You see, back in India, the Darjeeling Himalayan Railway, which opened in 1878, was symbiotically rooted to the growth of Indian tea. The first major experiment of the Indian Tea Association. Yes, another government body. Why do you guys make guys fix corruption? You can deal with tea later. Their experiment to globalize Indian tea began on Indian railways. <laughs> प्लेटफॉर्म <laughs> टोटलर्स <laughs> into a gigantic mass of three drinking indians whose primary problem in life now is losing their parlay jeans <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly right thank you so much for watching this video things like this really interest me and i'm so glad to have found a tribe of people who enjoy the same kind of obscure shit that i do <laughs> Skilling for sponsoring this video. If you are looking to upskill yourself and find a good job, then I would suggest starting with the link in my description. You also get free career counseling sessions and 15% off if you register using it. And the next one, buy eat vegetables. Buy <laughs> vegetables. <laughs> Very funny. Fantastic. Yeah. Uh, sh- Great. Shout out video. to Nim Nir Nirmal Palai. Um. <laughs> Very. funny and engaging editing fantastic um, just keeps you engaged the whole time and, and really funny yeah and obviously talking about you know an actual subject which is uh, we've seen a yeah, I, I it was, think it se- was had a lot of info in there too we've seen a lot of uh, a couple videos now about 
the history of tea in, yeah. in India. Yep. Um, but you know, he's put it in a fun little format for for people to to watch. Yeah, it was great. Uh, and and diss the British. <laughs> I thought it was very funny. I did too. Uh, good job. Hats off to you, man. And it's true. I, Indrani is amazed. It, no matter where we go, everywhere, everywhere we go, she says, "If they, if they had a chai stall right here, she's contemplated the idea of opening, of it. having a yeah, Can everywhere a we go, Jaiwala? Griffith Observatory, Dodger Stadium, the beach, uh, and into West Hollywood, uh, just con- outside of a movie theater. So, if they had a chai stall right here, she's not wrong." Well, she she's not wrong. She is because that's a lot of people, regular Americans, uh, white people. Um, not that white people are regular Americans. That's not what I'm saying. Please don't confuse what I just said. Um, they don't like. They won't like. They'll see a, a, a woman standing on the side of the road making a drink, and their the first inclination is that's probably dirty. <laughs> It's not. It's just not our culture here. No. There's a few, like... Well, it is when you include the Mexican-Americans, because yeah. they're very accustomed to street food. Yeah, but they you still have to, like, have, like, uh, health food, uh, like the like the ones the Mexican uh, restaurants that set up on the sidewalks, right? Mm-hmm. It's delicious food, by the way. Yeah, but there's places that they... Every time you leave the Hollywood Bowl, there's always somebody out there with a cart. It has a grill on it, and they're making stuff. And I've always joked about the fact that you don't know what that meat is on that thing because they didn't. They don't have a license. They just showed up and did it. And that's not. It's it's sad because in India, that's something that is a, a common thing that they let the people do. And Drani remarks about that all the time when she mentioned, "Why don't you guys have more street people, street vending?" And I said, "Because the cities don't let you do that without a permit." She said, mm-hmm. "They specifically let you do that in places because." It gives you an opportunity to make a living where you may not be able to otherwise do it. Yeah. So, but yeah, she, she, that's one of the biggest things that she misses. Thankfully, I can make it for her. But when we're out and about, she gets Starbucks, but it's not chai. It's, Starbucks, it's not street chai. Starbucks chai. It's not. Yeah, she, she'll, she'll get something to get the caffeine and get something, you know, approximating that kind of a taste, but nothing can, nothing can replace the chai. Nothing compares. You. Uh, but depending on how much of that you drink, that can be a lot of cream and sugar, man. If you're, if you're drinking a lot of chai all day long, that's a lot of cream and sugar. They do. Yeah. Um, but they drink it in a little increments. They, they, don't drink, they don't drink it in American size. No, that's very true. So they're like, they'll drink, they'll and drink it's a also, bunch throughout the day, but, but they it, drink... And in addition to the fact that that's just an enjoyable thing... It's a social point of contact yeah, for everybody is. to show up and for sure. have a chai and have a cigarette and just talk about the day. And Don't it, smoke. It's a social. It's a social thing. Don't smoke. No, you shouldn't. But it kills it's yourself. Very, and- very common. Uh, which, and more importantly, it kills other people. Yeah. Um, kill yeah, yourself. Don't. Want. I don't care. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't kill yourself. No. Um, lawyer. Uh, <laughs> very funny video. Great this video. Guy. Let us know if he has other videos we can react to or other videos we can react to by other people yeah. down below. Josh!